Hi, welcome to Hoarder's Heart. So, it is Christmas morning, the wee, wee hours of Christmas morning, where the kids aren't even awake yet. And Santa came, and this is what he brought the kids this year. And this is actually way less than the past three years. And the reason why I can tell it's way less, even though it looks like a lot, was because Santa used to have tubs, like two to three tubs per child that he had to lug to the tree. Where this year, he only had two big bags per child to take to the tree. But I think the kids are going to be really happy. And yeah, it's more than 10, like I said at the previous thing. It's probably more like... 15. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not going to be hard on myself because I enjoy this. The kids are going to be so excited. And I mean, it is less than previous years, but there's some special gifts in there that they're going to be excited to open. And I just, I love this. This is, this is one of my love languages is gift giving. And I just, I cannot wait for tomorrow morning. And I hope they don't notice that it's less because, I mean, it's still a lot. But um, I'll be posting um, a picture of this year's uh, Christmas tree and the and last year's so that you can see the difference. But, all right, I need to get a little bit of sleep <laughs> before these kids uh, get up for tomorrow. Okay, guys, it is Christmas morning. And this is what Santa brought both boys. So the tree's still pretty full. That's for sure. And Santa brought their main, main things that they wanted, which was an iPad. That was the number one for the little one. And then a PS4. That was the number one gift for my oldest one. And they still brought pretty, a lot of other little stuff too for them that they very much enjoyed opening some games, some Mad Libs, a little puppy, some squishy. I see the Fortnite llama, some Pokemon cards, a Roblox guy. Uh, looks like a little Funko Pop, Fortnite Funko Pop. So yeah, Santa still brought a nice amount this year. And we still have Nani and Nano's gifts and other people who are going to bring the gifts too. Okay, so my brother-in-law came and he's um, someone else, their uncle, who buys a ton of gifts, like probably like 10 to 15 gifts from like um, Five Below. But this year they got them these little like Echo Dots and they love these. So it's a nice gift, probably for the same amount of money as like, you know, 10 little gifts from Five Below and then some like little gift cards for, um, to pick something out, uh, like for a game. And I just want to share this cause it does show that it's so much better to buy one nice gift <laughs> instead of having like 10 little gifts. So, so far this year is pretty successful cause everyone else that I said to like tame back Christmas, we only have a couple more people to exchange with. And yeah, like here's some of the presents and, you know, from my parents, they got a lot of clothes, uh, stuff that they need. And then the toys that Santa had brought. So we definitely condensed it down this year and, um, I'll be putting everything of course, uh, under the tree, but this year definitely was more quality versus quantity, uh, presents and just, um, doing less basically, like not going as crazy as we have in previous years. 
Okay, so now we're three days after Christmas and we pretty much exchanged all the presents with everybody. Uh, there are still two more that we're going to this weekend, but I already know what it is and they kept it small as well too. They're each getting like a video game for their new thing and like a t-shirt. So again, I'm just gonna show you some of the things that they had gotten, like some, they had gotten some markers, some Mad Libs, some uh, headphones under here, the film for that Instapix. Uh, the big thing that my little one's playing with now was his iPad and like some games, um, Roblox, little puppy. And just so you know, my youngest begged for a puppy, but we weren't ready for a puppy this year. We just, <laughs> we weren't ready yet for that responsibility. And this house needs to be cleaned it out first before we even consider a puppy. But some, a Play-Doh thing, even though he has a lot of Play-Doh, we got a little Play-Doh thing, a little Lego um, kit to make. Um, we love our games. Oh my gosh, look, look, look. This was Blush and Frenzy. Oh my gosh, it's a game where I guess you use the um, suction cup and the poop flies out and you gotta catch the poop. Yes, I am a mother of boys. Yes, I am. And then back here is like clothes that my parents, Nani and Nana, had gotten them. And way back there, I don't know if you can see, that's kind of, I'll show you, that's kind of the little stuff I got. Me and my husband, you know, we're good at like keeping us small, but I'll show you some of, like that. this was from South America, from my family down there. So you know I ain't getting rid of this. <laughs> I love that. And then, a minimum to makeup because I love my makeup but look I got that which was pretty and then some oh look at these little lip glosses so a lot of cute stuff nothing that's like going to like overcrowd my my cleaned bathroom right where I keep on my makeup and then some new perfume and that was for me and then let's go back over for the kiddos you can see Little hoodie was in their stocking. Magic eight ball. Some books. Books are good. There's the box to the PS4, which is already uh, plugged up. Let's see. We got some Legos and you know pens that can go to to school. Little cool eraser things. Let me see. This was dance dance man that they liked. A couple of squishies and some stuff is actually opened like in their room right now because they got some Fortnite uh, Funko Pops and uh, they have them over there like here's one my my one son my oldest keeps it in the box my youngest one takes them right out so here's one of them and this was our pretty tamed Christmas and I'm sure to a lot of other people this is still a lot of stuff but I'm going to post some pictures that you can see again on, um, I did on another video, but I'm going to post some pictures again so you can kind of see like the comparison of how much my kids used to get, right? And Lord knows, you see how long it's taking me to clean out that, uh, that toy room, right? It's taken forever, <laughs> but I'm almost there. I'm almost there. And, oh, I did sell some stuff before Christmas. I forgot to add that. I did sell some things from the toy room for Christmas because I remember a lot of the organized people say, okay, now that Christmas is done, it's like one toy in, one toy out kind of thing. And, of course, I probably need like five toys out versus one coming in, but that's okay. Uh, so I did actually sell a lot of toys you know, right before Christmas that they didn't play with. So I feel pretty good about that, though I'm gonna definitely clean a little more, but guess what? They got less stuff this Christmas and they didn't even notice. No one peeped that, hey, this wasn't as much as last year. We got so much more. No one said that, not a peep. So it definitely does prove to me, cameras are falling, oh no. It definitely like proves to me that it was the experiences that they loved more than the amount and that they got their number one thing from Santa, which was Xbox 
and an iPad. So I'm going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and um, giving me wonderful comments on how to grow and learn and, you know, heal myself from this, uh, this uh, consumeristic shopaholic hoarder heel. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas. Bye.